This is a follow-up video for my Swift UI custom cells without dividers, that video with the beta bugs unedited. So today we're going to refactor the custom rows that we made in that last video and show you that there's always more than one way to do something. So let's get right into it. Here we are in Xcode, right where we left off last time. But now we want to come down and refactor this row here because there's always more than one way to do things. And we'd like to clean this up a little bit, make it a little simpler and achieve the same result. First of all, I wanna get rid of this rounded rectangle, especially because of this frame that I just wasn't fond of from the very beginning. So let's just say, see you later, get that out of here. You'll see things are looking pretty wild here on the right side in the preview. And this Z stack, yeah, I'm not feeling too good about that either. So let's say, see you later by going like this. Let's highlight the H stack and move it out of there. And we'll come up here to the Z stack and say, see you later, Z stack. So now this padding's stuck here on this outside view. That doesn't work. So let's just move that. Let's move that over to the H stack. So it's got leading and trailing default padding. And we're going to add a few more things here. Let's move that down. Let's give this H stack a background color. Let's say background like this. And it wants a view. And whether you knew this or not, you might know it now. Color is a view. Let's say color white. And it looks pretty good. It's still white on the right. And let's give it another modifier here. Let's say corner radius. So we're moving a lot of the stuff that was in that rounded rectangle down here to this H stack. So we'll give this a radius of eight. And let's move our shadow down here too. Say shadow, radius, and before we had a radius one and we had a Y, we move it down one as well, right? So let's add one more thing to this shadow. Let's add a color because yeah, it's visible right now. I want it just a little more visible. Let's give this a color of gray. And looks a little better there. Now I'll show you the contrast there. Let's make this a little bigger, just so you can see the little bit of the difference. I'll get rid of this gray. See how it got a little bit lighter? Let's put that back. Put the gray back, and it's a little bit more noticeable. I kind of like that. Okay, let's keep going. So next, we're gonna need to fix this width here. See, it doesn't fit the width of the screen anymore because we took away that frame that was on that rounded rectangle. So let's fix it. Let's come up here to where we're using this name row and we're gonna do something pretty cool. We're gonna add something called a geometry reader. Geometry reader. And we'll open it up like this and we'll say geometry in, hit enter. Let's go down and highlight our navigation view and everything inside of it and bring it up inside of this geometry reader. This will calculate some sizes for us. So let's fix the indentation here. And I'm gonna come up here to my navigation button and I'm gonna give it a frame. I'm gonna say frame, open it up. I'm gonna say width. And I'm gonna reference this geometry that's passed in right here. I'm gonna say geometry dot size dot width. Look at that. Over here on the right in the preview, now it's the width that we want. Just how we had it before. But there's another thing. Before we had that 80 height right here. Now they're just a lot shorter. So let's fix that. Without giving it a hard coded value, I'm gonna come back down here to the text. It already has default padding, right? All around the text over here on the right. But let's give it a little more. Let's give it some more default padding, but only on the top and the bottom. Because we don't want more padding on the left. It already has some. We just want some more on the top and bottom. See that? Now it's way more natural, not hard-coded at a height of 80. Using default values like this, We'll just scale a lot better on different devices and just play nice. So that looks pretty good. We've gotten rid of the rounded rectangle. We've gotten rid of that hard-coded height of 80. And we've also 
gotten rid of the UI screen width that we were referencing by using this geometry reader. And that's pretty neat. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and like it with that little thumbs up. If you want to know every time I post a new video, follow me on Twitter, scottsmith underscore dev, and also turn on the notifications when you subscribe here to my channel. All right, let me know what you think about this, and we'll talk to you later.